really where that like addition nutrition that we keep coming back to that idea of like Jilly just talked about adding more to the plate. And I feel like that's where we often see like fiber and protein are the two that we need to think about the most and adding them to the plate. Typically we're, you know, getting talking with clients and things. And it's more of like not taking things away, but adding them. And in particular, fiber gets hit with that. So again, yeah, that cup of raspberries and it actually makes like you're going to get more satisfied from the meal. You're going to have more like interesting color and um, like smells and flavors and things. So that satisfaction piece, not only from a hunger place, um, but also just from an interest and a joy of food, we can often feel much more um, satisfied on the other side of it and see again, better, better blood sugar regulation, energy production, and more consistent because that's going to reflect in our mood. That's going to reflect in our actual energy. And um, that's going to reflect in our hormones and our thyroid and all of these processes that we really want to be humming along at a very consistent basis and not on the loop-de-loop roller coaster. So I think really thinking about when we look at the plate, you know, where's opportunity in those non-starchy vegetables, let's say, opportunity in fruit, opportunity in, um, you know, those real whole foods versus thinking fiber and then trying to go turn over an ingredient label to see, well, how much fiber does this have? And it's like, well, let's go real whole foods. Let's go ingredients versus products. And we're going to kind of tease that out a little bit more as we go forward.